Victory 3 is here and you're probably confused. That's why you reached this point. We're going to tell you how to embrace the industrial revolution in Victoria 3 by developing railroads, manufacturing goods and exploiting them for profits. If you want to look at a more basic guide, check out my first video where I talked about how to make money from raw materials, in that case, coal as Spain. Today, we're going to play as Austria. First of all, let's just have a little quick look at my buildings. So you have already got some manufacturing as Austria. And you've got access to some coal mines and a bunch of iron mines as well. So the raw materials to kickstart the industrial revolution is coal and iron. It looks like more than likely we just need to produce a decent amount of coal to get started. So what we need to focus on is extracting as much iron and coal as possible, maximize the amount we can produce of that, then we can start working on railroads to increase the export capacity. So what we're going to do is water tube boiler. Then we'll go for mechanical tools and then as a railroad. So first thing we're going to do is go into our production lens and we are going to make some coal mines. So we can produce coal mines here, which we will gain a throughput bonus which will gain an economy of scale bonus up to plus 20. So if we go into here, we can see there's only a little bit of infrastructure in Bohemia. There's a decent amount of Moravia as well. So buildings, and we'll produce eight coal mines here. We're also making a decent amount of profit too. So what we'll do is go into construction queue and click on expand and go into the cheapest and expand by building four, five, six construction centers. All right, press space and on go to five speed and we're off we go so one of the issues that austria has at the very start of the game is taxation capacity meaning there's a lot of money that you're missing out on and how you fix that is you just go into these regions and you build government administration for every one level of government administration you get about five six percent tax collection efficiency and that way we can hoover up more money inside of Austria. But we're not going to focus too much on that because this video is about the Industrial Revolution. But if we do need to expand our bureaucracy, which we will do, we'll build them in areas which needs more tax efficiency. So we've got expensive goods in the market, which is paper. So we'll create, establish an import route. And we'll get that from the papal states. The papal paper printing press. So there are the constructions, we're building that construction up. And we'll hold Alt, and when we click on to build them, it assigns the top of the build queue, because then you go from the top to the very bottom. One thing we're also going to do is hop into our buildings, go into Rural, and find the coal mines. Make sure we've assigned them to Atmospheric Engine Pump, means we get more output of coal, and also iron, same thing as well, therefore giving more of us a better output of iron. But it will require more coal, it will require more tools so just be aware of that so if you look very closely they might need an import on market of those tools now this is really important for the industrial revolution to happen we need raw resources so when we see under our markets considerable import demand it's very important that we take care of the raw materials here so we've got manufactured goods such as liquor as well as clothes and furniture actually liquor isn't manufactured you can get that from farms but the wood is so we'll import some wood one two three import uh some fabric we'll get one two of those and also the tools tools very important well if you can get those cheap we'll get them all over the market the atmospheric engine extra throughput for coal mines and iron mines exactly what we want as you can see the coal mines are expanding they're employing more people more cash reserves because they're very profitable as well you can also set by clicking on the coal here right click and set an export route sell that coal on the market i think we already have a coal export route all right keep going five speed keep making those coal mines as you can see now as we're producing more coal we're exporting it out the country and they're having to pay uh, a tariff for that and they have to pay for the cost of the coal resulting as you can see lovely juicy profits we have some authority right now because we're an absolute monarchy are we an absolute monarchy yeah we're the kaiserreich kaiserreich autocracy is great because it gives loads of authority and you can have a lot of power of taxing things yay taxes aren't they fun consumption tax we're going to go for everything to tax that potentially makes us a lot of money uh my advice is don't tax uh, grain because that seems to upset people a lot so services is an easy one uh, next one is liquor the easy one wine the easy one luxury clothes and porcelain keep an eye on your production in this region here go to overview 
and you can see if you're coming close to the infrastructure capacity you don't want to go over because if you do go over uh you're gonna end up losing production and building these buildings for no reason in that circumstance it just seems pointless oh look at that income plus forty-five thousand money anyway next up we need to expand our construction industry perpetual growth here we come construction Build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's roughly, depending on the cost of this, it's roughly about five thousand per construction sector. So if you're making a lot of profit from that, just take advantage of it. Now we have forty-seven construction points. All the points. There we go. We're at max capacity for the coal mines in this specific region. Uh, we have a hundred authority. Well, we did have a hundred authority. It just disappeared on us. So what I'm going to do is remove one of these consumption taxes from porcelain and right click on here and go and embrace the resource industry uh, which gives 20% extra throughput for mines therefore we're producing all the coal within this one region next up we need loads of iron so production lands resources iron we look for regions that are already producing iron we've got Bohemia, South, South Transylvania let's have a look Southern Transylvania overview oh lots of potential expansion opportunities there because you can see the infrastructure is quite broad so in that case we'll start producing some iron mines we'll produce 10 and we'll just keep a close eye on it so now we need to think about production of tools we need to make that domestically within our country and not import that so what we're going to do is go into production lens then go into industry first industry and go on tooling industry there is some in history right now i think we might just produce three more here if we look really close at Istria 2, it's making a really good profit, but we're still going to subsidize it. And also what we can do is go from hand assembly to water tube boiler, which reduces the amount of employees. More or less employees mean we can produce this more efficiently. France is offering a trade agreement. Do not do this because you're probably making a lot of money from tariffs from exporting coal to France. So don't do that. You're making a lot of money from the French here. Okay, no research selected. We can go for mechanized mechanical tools and then work towards railroad. Same again, we've reached a certain point now, we're getting a lot of income. So my advice to you is change from wooden buildings to iron frame buildings. This is gonna give us extra production output and build a building significantly quicker. Power of the purse and also intensive agriculture, amazing. Resource, boom, boost our resources further. 10% extra mining output, man. All the mines, all the production. Okay, we are in a situation where our bureaucracy is low. So as I mentioned before, look for the areas that have taxation issues. So let's say Central Hungary. So go to Hungary here, and then we can add two administrative buildings. Hold Alt, and it'll shove it to the top of the construction queue. Russia would like a trade agreement with us. Once again, the reason they asked for this is because we're probably exporting a lot of coal and iron and it's going to russia and they're like we're paying a lot for tariffs for this we don't want to pay any more tariffs so uh, trade agreements remove tariff lift trade uh, in this circumstance we're making a lot of money from tariffs so we don't want to do that so no trade agreements if you do want to build good relationships with russia for potential alliances reasons it, having a trade agreement is probably a really good idea for it but the ai only usually offers you a trade agreement if they're making it losing a lot of money through tariffs oh my goodness look at that income oh my goodness so i guess we expand our construction sector some more at this point you could reward your people by dropping the taxes if you wanted to and the end result of that is they have access to more goods and services and then that overall uh their standard of living goes up so if you want to pay your people back and be a really nice government which i'm definitely not today uh, that's something you can do if you want once again income is getting crazy now so i'm just gonna drop the taxes like stupid low active research next one is the railways we're here brothers industrial revolution is knocking on your back door okay the next step is going to be steel and actual trains surprisingly you don't need the railway to actually start producing trains you can make trains that don't go on track you can't use them but you can do that so industry and let's look what we've got we've got the motor industry and we also have the steel industry and we're going to base this in surprisingly croatia build one motor station here and one steel mill here so we go right now we've got lots of excess construction efficiency and we're not using it look we've got 174 but we're only using 39 so if we go into our market and look at what we need it's like if we produce some grain and some liquor and we can do both of those in rye farms i believe control and left click and that drops 10 down Yep, we don't have any fertilizer. So if we click on the building, click on rye farms, you see that we don't have any 
Fertilizer, we were to right click and form an import route. We can get some fertilizer from abroad. There's a limited amount of fertilizer because it's kind of a product of the industrial revolution. So there's not that much of it around. So if you do consume all of it from the markets, you're gonna have to produce it domestically in your own country. All right, we have built the motor industry and the steel industry. And my advice to you is to subsidize this to begin with. Not many nations are gonna be producing steel and motor industries. So it's better that you protect your own industry and keep the price down as low as possible by subsidizing it at the very start of the game. Meanwhile, Ottomans, oh dear, getting their ass handed to them. And Russia looks like they're about to declare war <laughs> on the Ottomans as well. Oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna make some more rye farms and the maximum economy of scale is plus 20. So in this case, there's not really much point making more. Let's look at our market. And we can still get more grain, surprisingly. So it gets more, more rye farms. Shall we get them in Bohemia? No, we're already maxed out on the infrastructure here. So that's not going to be a good location for it. So I guess we could probably make some wheat farms then. I guess we could produce them in Dalmatia. Yeah, that'll do. All right, expensive things in our market, paper and iron. So what I'm going to do is go into Istria here. And we've already maxed out the port. So we need, definitely need railways here. So this is the point, the tipping point of where you've maximized your capacity and you desperately need railways. And right now there's nothing we can do. We can't expand this any further. This is where our manufacturing will be though. So in the time being, we will develop it here regardless. Actually, now I think about it. No, we're actually going to build it in Croatia now. I think about it. Yeah, we'll do it in Croatia and then we'll go for... We need chemical plants to produce fertilizer. So we'll make one of those. And we're also going to specifically say encourage manufacturing in this region. So now we're producing enough grain, we can export that. Same time, we're producing enough uh, trains, so we can export those as well. Build ports. Okay, we need sulfur for our chemical plants to function. Uh, have we got any sulfur mines inside of our country? So we're into resources, sulfur mines. Yes, we do, in Valencia. So in this case, build 20 there. Why import it right when we can produce it locally? So one little fix, if you've got issues with the market access, you can right click and do road maintenance. That just gives you tiny little bit more infrastructure so now we've got access to steel we can benefit industry in a lot of different ways for instance we go into urban and we have a look at our tooling industry we can now produce with steel tools improving the output and not needing as much iron but now unfortunately we need more access to steel that means we're gonna have to up our steel manufacturing the same too, I feel like if you synchronize your steel output on your motor industries, it seems to work really in tandem quite well. So I'd recommend that. The moment we don't have railways. We do now though. <laughs> so in this case, what we can do now is build our railway up uh, in areas the way we need it. And in most cases, we can now expand at rapid rate. Okay, so first of all, we look for areas that have our infrastructure area issues. And there really isn't that many, to be honest. I guess what we could do is go back to Southern Transylvania. And at the same time, we'll build a railway in that specific region. I hit Alt that time because I shifted the railway to the very top. Research. If we want to expand our industry, we're going to have to expand our mining. So nitroglycerin, a little bit of an explosive growth. And that will improve our iron and coal manufacturing. And as you can see now, the potential growth massively increases due to our potential of not having limits on the amount of infrastructure required. We just keep building higher and higher and higher and higher. All right, next up, we can start reconfiguring all of our buildings to mass produce. We have got an excess of tools. So now we can go into craftsman sewing, which requires a little bit of silk. Uh, we can also go for improving the furniture, precision tools, water boiler. You get the idea, really. The more efficient you make your buildings, more likely to export them at a nice price. So now we've just done a massive amount of changes. As you can see, our income's just taken a massive hit. If you go into your market, you can see what you're needing the most of right now. So right now, we're just going to keep building up our coal and iron and tooling industries until we make a profit. And eventually we will because we'll be producing so much. Nitroglycerin. So now you can go into your chemical plants, start producing it. And the end result is if you go into your rural and then you can start making production goes significantly higher this is like a tipping point though because this point when you've got explosives i suppose you have the ability to produce a lot of extra resources see there's a shortage of, ex of explosives i knew that was going to be an issue and the reason why i'm making more chemical plants 
There you go. The cost for explosives is super high. Remember, if a raw resource which you use for mining, the cost is high, you might want to subsidize it to make it cheaper. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be too expensive to mine with, which will have a knock-on effect with your supply chains affecting all your manufacturing industries. Because you're an absolute monarch and you've got access to a lot of authority, one good thing to do is hop into here and try and get National Guard or Secret Police. As you can see, I'm having a bit of an unrest problem because like, liberalism has arrived in my country and it's causing lots of tax collection issues. So the temptation here to go for Steam Donkey, which is really good for extraction of coal and iron, and also Dynamite, also good for extraction of coal and iron. Uh, but overall, my advice is to go for technologies that aren't like as advanced, for instance, because otherwise it's going to take forever. Like if it's if it has a year's amount to research something, it's probably not really worth it, to be honest with you. You want to go for the month's ones. See, so realism here, this will take you a month, gives you more prestige. Prestige gives you a higher rank overall. When you have a higher rank, you have more opportunities to expand because you have more areas of interest. Also, this is a good one for Austria because of central archives gives more taxation capacity. It takes a bite out of all these taxation penalties you've got here. All right, we've reached a tipping point here. This is like a new point you reach where you want to export a lot of goods, but you have a lack of convoys for that. The only way around that is to build more ports. And if you want to expand how much you're earning, that's the only thing you can actually do. And in this case, we are going to do that. More ports, more ports. Another thing you can do is embrace uh, more advanced law enforcement institutions, which will reduce the impact of turmoil. Maybe we should stop discriminating against the Hungarians, guys. Eh, nah. Another factor too is shipyards because you need to produce ships that are going to export and import your goods, in this case clippers. So in this case we're going to produce them as well as import them as well. Modern sewage is pretty good too for construction impact and also maximum infrastructure from population too. Now if you want to make your pops happy you can import some of these manufactured goods. These are ones that probably make you less profit. Overall clothes are pretty decent though. So you can see here these key manufacturing industries, chemicals, steel and motor industries, uh, they're taking a big hit at the moment because I'm subsidizing them. However, it might look bad that you're losing this money. You're subsidizing to make these products cheaper so therefore to keep the whole industry going. Trust me, it's working. And here we go, it's finally set in. Here comes the fruits of my labor, income skyrocketing. At this point, you can choose, I guess at this point, to move your manufacturing to, in to the arms industry, build up your army, and then start expanding in different directions if you want to. But what I usually do is just keep expanding your construction industry. Be aware, though, if you do keep over-pushing your construction industry, you might be in a situation where uh, you're actually losing a lot of money, and you might have to do a little bit of austerity and pull back that construction industry. If you do what I do, play one state really tall, eventually you're gonna have issues uh, recruiting for this location. What you can do is if you, once again, withdraw one of your consumer tax and get another bit of authority left, you can go for greener grass campaign in this region, uh, which increases migration uh, to this region. So therefore, uh, they can actually give them jobs. And if you go into population, migration attraction has gone up absolutely massively so you most of the time you have to always fill out the industries within this set region there we go motor industries second biggest producer in the world steel number second producer in the world behind france and uh let's say fertilizer number one and dynamite number one we're number one baby if you look at the gdp stocks strunk up up and away to the moon and that's is an industrialized Austria. I hope you've learned a great deal. If you want another one of these, maybe talking more about warfare and building your industry towards warfare and then potentially taking it all the way to conquest with that in mind, let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Whoa, whoa, this one. God, this video is so great. It's like knocking me away. Whoa, uh, uh, this one.